today's episode, I will discuss the differences between an undergraduate program and a graduate school. Some of you might think that graduate school is a mere extension of your undergraduate program. This is absolutely not true. So a graduate school is a quite different animal from an undergraduate program. There are three key differences I want to talk about. Before I talk about these differences, I know some of you are watching from other countries than the United States and might get confused by the terms undergraduate and graduate. So in the United States, an undergraduate or undergrad is a student who is pursuing a bachelor's degree at a college, community college, or university. It usually takes four years to earn a bachelor's degree at a college or university. A graduate or grad student is a student who has already obtained a bachelor's degree and is now pursuing a master's doctor or other terminal degree like an MD or JD. It usually takes two years to get a master's degree. A PhD student or doctoral student is pursuing a PhD or doctoral degree. The time to complete a doctoral program may vary, but it usually takes four to 10 years. A graduate program refers to both master's and PhD. Then what are the key differences between an undergraduate and graduate programs? First, knowledge consumer versus knowledge producer. As an undergraduate, you are mainly a knowledge consumer. You learn and consume knowledge and information other people created. Textbooks, articles, and materials your professors use are knowledge produced by somebody else. In a graduate program, however, especially a doctoral program, most of you eventually want to become scholars. The scholars are knowledge producers who apply knowledge to create new knowledge through research. In a doctoral program, you are expected to become a knowledge producer or be prepared to become a knowledge producer. In other words, you are expected to present new research findings at academic conferences and publish them in academic research journals in your discipline. The second same letter grade means something different in undergraduate and graduate school. In an undergraduate school, A means excellent, B is good, and C is average. You might have heard the expression that D is for diploma. In an undergraduate school, score 60 might be still be a passing score. In a graduate school, however, it is a different story. In a graduate school, grades are inflated. A means average. A majority of graduate students will get A's. And B is below average. And C equals failure. Grading policies can vary from school to school. So make sure you check with your graduate school about grading policy. Third, general knowledge versus specialized knowledge. Undergraduate programs are more general in nature. In an undergraduate program, students normally take five to seven courses that account for 15 to 12 credits per semester. These include general education courses that cover a wide variety of subjects. Students in the same major are likely to take the same or similar courses based on the curriculum. The curriculum for the same major is pretty similar from school to school. Undergraduate programs are designed to create well-rounded individuals who are ready to enter the working world. Graduate schools, however, are highly specialized. In a graduate program, there are boundaries. 
but the choices are quite wide. For example, you should take a couple of theory courses in your discipline, but there are a number of theory courses you can choose from. You should choose your courses to build layers of your dissertation. For example, you should take a theory course that covers the theory you will build your thesis or dissertation on. In terms of methodology, if you plan to develop a new scale, you should take a psychometrics course that covers the scale development procedures and statistical analysis you will use to analyze your data set for your dissertation. All of your course choices should contribute to your dissertation. What are your thoughts on the differences between undergraduate and graduate programs? So share your thoughts on the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you like the content I covered today, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click the notification button so you will be the first one to know when I post my next video.